And the struggles continued for the Ohio men's baseball team as they lost their first two games of the four-game home series with the Canisius Golden Griffins on Friday night. The first game started off at 2 o'clock p.m. And at that point, it was all Golden Griffins as they put up 20 hits on the board and beat the Bobcats 12 to nothing. Combined batting average for the Canisius Golden Griffins, they batted over 400 in this game, having 20 hits out of 46 at bats. And defense was also a key for Canisius. Their infield play was fantastic, as whereas Ohio's play from the infield and outfield was inconsistent, as Coach Smith also said. I think we're seeing some deficiencies in certain areas. Um, our outfield play must improve. Uh, we've had way too many mistakes in our outfield, which is creating situations in games. And you know those guys are much better players than that. They're much better athletes than that. So that's got to improve, I think, uh, in some areas. You know, our consistency of our offense certainly has to improve. Today was a good example. You know, we get six hits, no runs in game one, and then we come out and we, we put up seven runs today. And we've had very much been very much up and down. Now, although Ohio failed to put up a run in their first contest of the doubleheader, the second contest was a different story, however. After a little Jimmy Johns in their system, Ohio managed to put up seven runs on Canisius, which is their fourth most of the entire season. And it seemed like they had the game in hand going into the late stretch of the game. From the third inning all the way through the sixth, that's where Ohio did most of their damage offensively. They put up at least one run during that stretch. And in the sixth inning, they put up three runs to give themselves a nice cushion after taking the lead in the bottom of the fifth, their first lead of the entire day. But as the weather started to get colder here at Bob Renton Stadium, that's when Canisius stepped up and Ohio's bats started to slow down. They battled back the top of the seventh, answered the three-run sixth inning with a three-run seventh inning for Canisius, tying the game at seven. And from that point on, Canisius went on to lead the game 10-7, to seven, and they would hold out with a 1-2-3 ninth inning which gave the Golden Griffins their second win of the day. And now all Ohio can do is look to Saturday as these two teams face off again for the third game of the four-game home series right back here at Bob Wren Stadium. Can Ohio's bats continue to roll? Remember, they had 12 hits in the second game of the doubleheader, whereas they only had six in their first game of the doubleheader. And Canisius, their tides changed as well. They had 20 hits in their first contest and only 16 in their second contest. Have the tides continued to change? You'll have to stick with us and find out. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Graham Fugazi.